What's up YouTube? Today I'll be doing a review on my 2020 XSR 900. That's it there. Show you guys some better angles. It's got the um, carbon exhaust. I just bought it off some guy or Facebook Marketplace because I didn't want to spend $1,500 on a titanium one. It sounds really good. You'll hear it, you'll hear it when we go for our ride, but um, I like the titanium uh, better. I reckon it sounds better. It's just, I don't want to spend that much money. I bought this off a guy on Facebook for $800. His MT-09 got wrecked. And surprisingly, the only thing that wasn't damaged was the exhaust. So it worked out, worked out good for me. It's, uh, it looks really good. Like, super easy to put on as well. Like the MT-09s and the XSRs are virtually the same bike. So very easy to swap the exhaust over. But yeah, give you a bit of another walk around. And then we'll get, get to doing this ride. All right, hello YouTube. It's your boy Fred, and uh, today we're doing the review on my XSR 900 2020 model. Uh, so I'll go through I'll go through the specs of you guys first. The um, the XSR 900 is uh, it's it's not actually a 900 cc. It's actually a 847 cc. It's a um, it's a inline triple uh, cross plane motor. The same motor you find in the MT 09s and the traces. So really, really torquey motors, and what uh, what drew me to this bike was mostly the the comfortability of it. It's oh, I came from a 600 Super Sport a, a while ago now, and it was always I was always hunched over, and it was really tough on my shoulders and my back, and it's just it was not a comfortable ride at all. It was, and they're not they're not exactly meant to be. So. I was just sick of hunching over and and dealing with the uh, the fact that I can't ride the bike for very long. So I went I went and uh, test rode my brother-in-law's XSR. He had a um, he had a 2017 blue XSR. Absolutely amazing bike. I took it for a ride and I, I just fell in love with it. It was it's such a such a crazy bike to own. And uh, I rode his. His had a uh, 200 200 millimeter black widow cannon on it and gosh this thing was loud it was just it was obnoxiously loud and stupid fast because he, he had it he had it flash tuned as well and uh just this thing just uh oh, just shook me when i rode it i'd never ridden anything like it and uh that was the moment i realized i, I just had to buy one the so the bike comes with a cross plane three cylinder uh makes roughly 115 uh horsepower and about I think what was it? It was 80. Well, it's 84.6 kilowatts. Curb weight's only 430 pounds, which I think is 295, 296 uh, kilograms. So it's a very, very light bike, and because you have that that amount of power, just shrink down into such a small frame and such a short wheelbase, the bike is a bit wheelie happy. In first in first gear, it's probably the worst. If you if you drop your if you drop your wrist in first, this thing will will come up and it will flip you if you don't if you don't expect it. Second gear, you can still power wheelie in second gear, but it, it takes a little bit of a um, a little nudge towards on the a little nudge back on the seat to get the front wheel up. So if you if you like wheelie happy bikes, man, this is <laughs> this is the bike for you. Oh, I'll go straight. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I've talked about the weight, talked about the power. I I would say this bike is ideally for for people who want to commute and have fun on their commute. It's definitely not definitely not a touring bike. I have seen plenty of setups on the XSRs. I just I wouldn't I wouldn't take it on long trips. I think you can roughly get about 200 250 kilometers on it. But don't don't take my word for it. The thing that makes this bike so great, and the, the thing that attracted me to it, is the fact that the um, the power is so usable. It's it's just everywhere. Like the bike, uh, the bike revs to about 12,000 RPM, and all the power is usable in every single gear. So from first to sixth gear on this bike, 
there's almost no lag in power. I know on the on the 600 CBR that I had, you would roll on, you roll on to power, and it would take it would take maybe a second or two for the bike to really get up to that rev range where where it was really going. Uh, and this bike is not like that at all. It, as soon as you twist your wrist, the power is there, and the power is all throughout the rev range as well. There's no lag. There's no nothing. It's just full year high spec. And uh, that's perfect for, for commuting on the streets and going through the city and stuff. You've got all that usable power. And yeah, it's, it's just so much fun. It's so talky. So talky, man. Oh, you got to love it. Uh, and the uh, oh, one thing I haven't spoken about is the colour scheme. So this is... Uh, every year they change their, their colour pattern and uh, for the year of 2020 they had the radical, what's it called, radical red and dynamic white? Or was it the other way around? I don't know. Uh, one of the two. But it's got the, uh, it feature, features the gold wheels which, uh, which stands out a bit. It stands out a bit, it definitely turns some heads. But I absolutely love the colour scheme of the bike. I reckon, I reckon it's the best looking one. The only other one that I like, probably just as much if not more, would be the blue uh, from the 2017 model. That was a very nice, very nice colour. Oh, actually, I forgot, I forgot about the, the 2021 model. Which is, the, uh, which is the black and gold. Oh, the black and gold looks beautiful as well. Uh, but yeah, I settled. I settled on the uh, the red and the white uh, because it's just my favourite colours. So I really, really liked it. And uh, as for pricing in in Western Australia, you can pick these bikes up for around fourteen thousand dollars or fourteen and a half thousand dollars. I paid uh, thirteen point seven for mine, uh, but that was just because my father in law has a mate at uh, at Yamaha in Rockingham, and they were able to do me a special deal. I rode the bike without the uh, acropodic exhaust for about six months uh, and I have to say the uh, the stock exhaust actually how do I say it the, once I put the acro on it actually it actually felt like the bike lost a bit of power I know they say it's meant to gain I think it's meant to gain about a horsepower with the uh, acro carbon they're, they're not there's not supposed to be any any noticeable difference but with the uh, with the stock exhaust, I, it it pulled like a freight train, like. And as soon as I put the Acra on it, I, I could hear the bike making more noise, but I couldn't I couldn't notice notice any power difference. Uh, so I don't know I don't know if it's just me or what, but or whether I need to get the bike tuned or not. But yeah, the with the stock exhaust, it it sounded great. It did sound it did sound good. Not nearly as good as the Acra, but. But yeah, no, the, the stock exhaust is alright. It's it was uh, it looked a bit funny though. I don't, I don't like the look of it. It looks weird. <laughs> uh, the Acro looks so much better, and it sounds it sounds so much better. So, well, what else is there? The uh, top speed of this bike is only I think 230, 240 kilometers an hour. So it's really you know it's it's not that high, but. You know, when can you ever use that if you're not on a track or something like that? It's very, very much the same as a 600cc Super Sport, um, except I think this bike would probably have have a 600 uh, for the most part of a quarter mile. I think the 600 would catch up eventually once it gets to that rev range. But yeah, uh, yeah, I think on the takeoff and on the acceleration, this bike would would destroy 600. <laughs> but that's it, that's exactly what makes it so much fun. Uh, these bikes are awesome. I, I'd highly, highly recommend buying one. I absolutely love mine. I don't think I'll be selling mine for a long time. I'll probably end up just buying another bike and keeping this bike as well, and just having two or two, maybe three, depending on what my wife will allow. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's an awesome bike. I um, I absolutely love it. Uh, and the bike, the bike comes with uh, traction control, ABS, all that good stuff. And uh, it's got three three different power modes. So I'm in standard mode uh, currently. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys in a second. I just got. I was trying to get behind me. <laughs> 
I'll show you guys in a second what uh, what the other two modes are like. So you've got you've got three modes. Uh, a mode A mode is a uh, a very oh, like all the modes do is just um, regulate throttle throttle response. So in A mode you have maximum throttle response. Uh, so the bike becomes extremely twitchy. Let me show you. You just, just you just press this little mode button and you go into A mode and. Uh, just, I can instantly just feel the throttle bend. Like the throttle is just extremely sensitive now. It is extremely twitchy, which is uh, if you yeah if you like doing wheelies and stuff on these sorts of bikes like the MT09s and the XSRs, probably stay out of A mode mostly because it is yeah it's extremely twitchy. It's very very twitchy. I like to ride in uh, standard mode because you have you have all the same power. Like nothing changes in the power uh, respect to things. Uh, but the uh, yeah the throttle response just uh, kicks you kicks you in the in the nuts, man. When you're in A mode, if you're if you're unprepared and you accidentally put it into A mode, or someone else rode your bike and put it into A mode, and then you get back on it, it's it's a very very noticeably uh, noticeable difference. Sorry. Uh, so I always ride in standard mode because that's just the uh, easiest mode for me. I don't think I'm capable enough to be riding in A mode just yet. So you've got, and you, then you've got this, uh, this mode, B mode. Uh, I genuinely, I, sorry, I generally stay out of B mode because it is uh, full limptic mode basically. This bike just... The throttle, like, like I said, all the power is still there. It's just the throttle response is so delayed. It's It's got that bit of lag. You don't have the instant power that you would expect this bike to always have. So if you want to do wheelies and stuff on these sorts of bikes, B-Mode is probably your best bet. Like if you want to do power wheelies, uh, B-Mode is definitely your best bet. And uh, third gear clutch ups or first and second power wheelies, up to you guys. But uh, personally, when I take this on to you know un unregistered roads, <laughs> uh, I genuinely do clutch ups in third, uh, just because you've got that much space to move. And I usually chase chase wheelies, so I'm not all that great on them. Uh, but the only issue in third gear, if you're chasing your wheelies, is the bike picks up speed really quickly. Uh, you'll, the more experienced you are, I suppose, the better you'll be at it. Like more experienced riders would probably go for a clutch up in second and uh, and ride it out. But oh, I'm not there yet. So uh, in terms of in terms of who should be riding these bikes, I'd say I'm I'm probably an entry level experienced rider. Uh, so I've been riding bikes since I was about five years old. So I've been riding bikes a long time. Uh, almost almost 20 years now uh, and I still don't think I'm capable of pushing this bike to its extent so if you are a beginner rider uh, heed my warning don't buy this bike do not buy this bike if you are a beginner rider because uh, it's it's too powerful it's too twitchy uh, you will hurt yourself and you know we're all here to have a good time and ride but uh, you know we have everyone's got a family at home everyone's got someone they care about or someone who cares about them so please ride safe guys it recently there's been a lot of deaths in uh, in perth wa from motorcycle motorcycle crashes no not usually the riders fault like it's usually not their fault it's usually just an accident or an encounter with another with another car but just be careful guys be careful out there like we just want to get home safe to our loved ones uh, that's why I don't necessarily like doing crazy shit on my bikes because I have a wife at home. We've got a baby on the way. I've got a dog. I've got mum and dad. So you know, keep keep those people in mind when you're when you're thinking about doing stupid shit. <laughs> that's that's usually what I do. I think of my family and then I just calm down on my bike. Otherwise, I'm just a hooligan. You know, it's a nice hot lux. Oh, that's a sick Mohawk boy. Yeah, doggies. Such cute doggos. Alrighty.
that's another thing about this bike that's fun. You can just get so low in the corners. Now, I wasn't getting low there. I don't really, I don't really get that low. But you can you can throw these things around like they're nothing. It's honestly such a light lightweight bike. And uh, every every aspect of the bike drew me towards it. I, I had another, but uh, there's a few other bikes that I liked. Um, I really liked the uh, KTM Super Dukes. Uh, I just don't like the price tag of them though. They're super expensive and super expensive to fix as well. And uh, the Speed Triple, that's that's another triple that I really, really like. It's just the headlights for me. I don't like the headlights. It kind of looks like a, kind of looks like a weird alien from a 90s movie. Uh, but the uh, the triple cylinder in them are extremely refined as well. It's it's a lot different to the XSR. The XSR is uh, I want to say I want to say more rugged. I want to say more rugged. It's it's not as refined. It's not as fine tuned as the um, as the Triumph Speed Triples. But it is a hell of a lot more fun than the Speed Triples. I have to say. I've ridden I've ridden a uh, six seven five Daytona. And yeah, it, it didn't do it for me, man. It was it was too smooth. It was too nice. Uh, uh, with this triple, you just get a uh, raw raw power, and there's no there's no there's no fanciness about it. It is what it is. You look at it. It's it's nice to look at. You get on it, and you go, holy shit, this thing is actually super capable. <laughs> and uh, it's it's just so much fun riding it you can't I, I struggle to control myself on this bike I really do uh, because it, it, it tempts you it tempts you at every corner just to let loose and give it some shit man every single corner you just want to give it some oh listen to that pop 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 uh, but yeah that basically um that basically concludes my moto vlog for today guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh please like and subscribe to my youtube channel and uh i'll be i'll be delivering some more content to you guys so thanks thanks for all the support guys